Hi, my name is Mark Webster, and today I'll be talking about the XP stabiliser formalism. The XP stabiliser formalism is a new way of representing certain quantum states. The difficulty of working with quantum states is they take an exponential amount of resources to represent. One of the ways of limiting the complexity is to work with Pauli stabiliser codes. These are subspaces which are fixed by a stabiliser group of Pauli operators. Now these Pauli operators are tensors of i times the identity x and z. The advantage of working with this stabilizer group is that we can simulate various operations on the codes using operations on the generators of the group. And this reduces the complexity a lot. For instance, we can check if a code is valid, find the code space. We can find logical x and z operators. We can simulate the measurement of Pauli operators on the code. And this allows us to detect and correct errors on the code. So the Pauli stabilizer formalism captures some aspects of quantum states, such as entanglement and superposition, and it's super important in terms of its applications for quantum error correction. On the other hand, it does have its limitations. And so that's why we've looked at extending the Pauli stabilizer formalism. Some of those limitations include that only a limited set of states can be represented, certain no-go theorems have been shown to apply. And that because all of the states in the Pauli stabilizer formalism are classically simulable, this suggests that we're not capturing any aspect of quantum advantage. So we're proposing the XP stabilizer formalism where we extend the Pauli group by allowing finer rotations around the z-axis. And you can see how the formalism is set out here. So basically, we set a precision n, which can be any integer. And this makes for a very, very broad uh, formalism. And we can show that uh, this formalism gives us some very nice results. We can recreate most of the algorithms that we have for the Pauli stabilizer formalism for the XP formalism, but at the same time represent a broader range of states, including some important states for condensed matter physics, including hypergraph, weighted graph, and topological phases with non-abelian anions. Also, because XP codes can have um, stabilizer generators which don't necessarily commute, this allows us to get around some of the no-go theorems that apply for this Pauli stabilizer formalism. XP codes have a much broader uh, logical operator structure, and this might have important applications for magic state distillation. And finally, because we can't necessarily simulate measurements of XP operators and XP codes, this suggests that because they're not classically simulable, we are actually capturing some aspects of quantum advantage. Thank you.